All right, back on the Sportsman Zone, we continue with the cricket. The Caribbean Premier League will bowl off on August 16, and the franchises are slowly building their squads. Guyana Amazon Warriors, the latest team to announce their retained players. The Warriors have been able to retain Shimran Hitmar, yes, despite reports of the local marquee player requesting a trade to last season's runners-up Barbados Royals. Here is the list of retained players for the Guyana Amazon. Amazon Warriors, uh, Shimran Hitmeyer, Odin Smith, Romaria Shepard, what a player he is, Shea Hope, the Windows 50 over captain, Kimo Paul, will be back in the West Indies setup shortly, and those are five of the players, and the remaining four, Chandra Paul Hemraj, Gudakesh Moti, Matthew Nandu, and Junior Sinclair the nine retained players by the Ghana Amazon Warriors. Lance and Mariah, not long ago we had heard that Shimran Hitmeyer was looking for a transfer to the Barbados Royals and that the Ghana Amazon Warriors franchise was fighting that, trying to keep their star player and it looks as if they have been successful. Yeah, and I can understand why the Ghana Amazon Warriors franchise would want to keep a player like Shimran Hitmeyer. We've spoken about his talent we have spoken about his talent on this show many times before. And I think having a Shimran Hetmeyer, and it's not just what he can do, it's not just his skill with the bat and his fielding capabilities. For me, it's his leadership role. And I've seen Shimran Hetmeyer alongside his captain setting the field and taking uh, initiative, taking that leadership role. So I feel happy for the Ghana Amazon Warriors franchise, and I think they won by keeping Shimran Hetmeyer. Yeah, I'm... Um... <sighs> Ricardo alluded to the Radisson Royals probably trying to get him to because that's his IPL franchise and we know that they have been from an overarching standpoint trying to get a lot of their players under their own umbrella so having played for the Radisson Royals in the IPL Radisson Royals parent company of the Barbados Royals there was a feeling that that move would have been made but a, a plus for the Ghana Amazon Warriors that they've been able to keep Shimron Hetmar remember they have not won the CPL having played about five or six finals so um, if they are to win the title uh, Shimron Hetmar being there we think would would boost that bid and um, I know that he has not really delivered in the way that we know that he can consistently. But Shimron Hetmar at his best can be a match winner for any team in the CPL. I like and if I, if I were a Ghana, Ghana Amazon Warriors fan, I'd be thrilled that Shimron is still there. And if you, you were a fan Shimron. at all. Huh? If no, you were he a fan supports at all. TKR. <laughs> he supports him being a night rider. Yeah, TKR has he, been And he has hasn't changed team. since I joined this team in 2019. He's yeah. been a TKR supporter. Yes, okay. yes. Yeah, I also like, let me just add, the youngsters uh, in the core of retained players. Yeah. Uh, Matthew Nandu, we spoke about him and his exploits with the bat and whatnot. I think he is a force to be reckoned with if he gets the opportunity to play. There's also Junior Sinclair, you know, so I feel like they have a, a good mix. They have a mix of experience and youngsters. And for me, the Ghana Amazon Warriors, that was never the issue with them. They always have top players. They always get to the finish line. It's crossing that finish line mm. that they have a problem with. Yeah, it's a good core. There is no doubt about that. And now you wait to see the type of quality and experience, um, both from around the region and globally, that they put with the retained players now to make up their final roster. There's no doubt that the Ghana Amazon Warriors will be a threat once again in the CPL. And as Mariah pointed out, she's very much right. They have been so close so many times before and you have to start believing even when you change players out once a franchise has a history of being unable to get across the line it weighs on every single player who comes into that franchise so even if 10 years down the road you have a different set of players Lance and Mariah they will know the history they will hear the history and there will always be that additional pressure of trying to be that first unit that gets across the line and win the title and Guyana Amazon Warriors will not be without that pressure this season and so they will need more quality around the core that they have put together here if they are going to get across the line as Mariah put it. I just want to say this one thing because I know we're out of time yeah. but Dwayne Bravo when I think about him, right, I think about winning and I think about a winner. Mm -hmm. And I say that based on his history. He's and, done it with and, TKR. And, and his hit song. 
Yes, and he's a champion, right? <laughs> but he's proven it. I feel like if Twin Bravo was to go to Ghana Amazon Warriors, they would win. Yeah. I feel like that's what they're missing. I guess you should just ask the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. <laughs> that's it for a cricket segment. We'll be back. Football to come. That Europa League final gone to penalties. Will it be Roma or Sevilla? We'll tell you all about it. Yeah. Stay with Sportsmax on YouTube and follow us on all social pages for updates, news and entertainment.